Hey, hey. Hi there, and welcome to Breakfast on Melrose. You know, we've actually just been sitting here having our breakfast and, uh, and talking about our families. Mm hmm pretty much. Does your mom drive you crazy? A lot of people, it's true. I, I wouldn't say crazy, actually, for no? me, but I think it's more like a, a nervous thing. Um, she, and my husband feels the same way about this. We actually <laughs> got married, sort of spur of the moment, just because at the county clerk's office, just to avoid the whole family thing. <laughs> Oh, that is so sad. You oh. missed the whole big wedding and yeah. the dress and yeah, the nothing yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, oh, yeah. man. Whatever. What about you? No, I love my mother. I, I, you know, my mom's a saint. Oh. So, um, you know, that that's harder than you think. Because, because when you argue with a saint, yeah. <laughs> exactly, who looks bad? You do. Oh, I see. Well, I lose. That is no, a problem. I lose every time. Oh, okay. But, you know, we're actually really fortunate because today we have famed family therapist Dr. Martha Evans. That's right. She's going to be out here to give us some tips on what to do and what not to do to get along with your parents. Yeah. Or other family members. Or, yeah. Family and in general. <laughs> and not only that, we've got so much we got so much going on in the show today. We're actually going to be going doing <gasps> some Hollywood scooping. Yes, we are. We're going to get the backstage dish behind yeah. the new blockbuster movie, Independence Day. Have you uh, seen this movie? No, I haven't. Oh, it is so Just open. Good. No, it's so great. And the lines are around the block, so yeah. all I can say is, like, bring a little stool. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> all right, and then we're going to be going out on the street and looking around. This is one of our favorite segments. Yeah. We look around and we try to find maybe that fashion thing that's happening out there that may not be the best thing. And yeah, I don't even know if you, you can call it fashion. Yeah, you, know, okay. you know who you are, because we've been there, <laughs> actually. We think that impress. everybody, you know, we don't care how old you are, or what size you are, whatever. Everybody's got their own personal style, and we just want to help you along with it a little bit. Yeah, you're right to look your worst ends where we can see it. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we're going to bring you in and give you a little makeover. We'll makeover. It's, um, It'll be good. We yeah. won't use handcuffs or anything when we arrest you as fashion police. And it's not going to be hugely expensive like it is on so many of the other things, you know? No, no. Yeah. Have you ever been down to the clothes mart? We'll show you how to use it here cool. in California. All right. That's right. And have you ever had pins stuck in your body? <laughs> well, I, we don't want to ask Leslie because yeah, know, you know, no. that could be a scary answer. I know. But there's something called acupuncture. Oh. And the stars swear by it. <laughs> uh, it's these big long needles, but they say it doesn't hurt. So. And yeah, and all the stars are doing it. That's what I understand. Like Demi Moore and Morgan Fairchild, they're oh, all yeah. getting themselves stuck. James like Seymour. <laughs> uh, hey, if it works. Yeah, it I works. Know. I'm going to jump on the table and get poked myself. Right. And so. we're going to find out if it works. I have an open mind about this. I can see that. Okay. Well, we also have a real treat for you because today we have a superstar on the premise. That's right. We're going to be interviewing a major celebrity. Mel like, Gibson. Yeah, well, like Mel Gibson. So much like Mel Gibson that it's not Mel Gibson. It's not Mel Gibson. Quite frankly, yeah. Well, this being only an audition tape. We aren't really paying anybody. Oh, man. So, <laughs> oh, where's my agent? So instead, oh, I get here. we're going to interview the closest thing we have, okay. and that would be Crystal. You're going to interview me? Yes, because Crystal's actually <laughs> been on a TV show. Well, I'm more famous than Mel Gibson. I can see why you went with me. <laughs> Crystal was on General Hospital. Yes. And it was a regular years. character for three years on General yeah. Hospital. Uh, Julia Barrett. I played Julia Barrett. I'm in London now. <laughs> In my mind. Yes. <laughs> and, and, uh, and what's it like actually working on a soap? Because a lot of people think you just show up, look super glamorous, and, uh, and just walk through these beautiful sets. You know, a lot of people think that. And what it's truly like is you show up, you look super glamorous, and you just walk through these beautiful oh, well, no, there you go. It's, it's not. So no, it's, it's actually very difficult. You have a lot of lines to memorize every day. These scripts show up the last minute. And while you're sitting there in makeup, they hand you new pages, 40 oh. new pages. And they don't really dig it when you add lib. So <laughs> it's kind of tough. I like to make little notes and like leave them around, you know, especially when you're on the phone. The phone is the best because, you know, you're sitting in one place and of course you can just kind of glance down and keep talking. So what? when you see them on the phone, they don't know their lines. <laughs> no idea what they're saying. <laughs> so what, um, what, what was the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you? Forgetting your lines or? Uh... No, 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 that was just typical. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was around my first uh, day on the set. I fell into a vat of, of fish oil. It wasn't actually fish oil, don't worry about it. It did stink, though. It was veg vegetable oil. But, and that was bad enough, but what really happened was the, I was new, and the top that they put me in, was like a swimsuit top, uh -huh. was a little too big. Oh. And oh. my bodacious body couldn't quite, uh, well, it, 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 it showed. <laughs> is what happened. We had to do oh, it over. Yes. Oh, yes. And that's the way you want to spend your first day at work. Exactly, exactly. We got very close with Tony Geary right away. <laughs> well, that's the show we've got so far, so stick around. And in case, uh, in case you don't hear this later on the show, I want, you let, I want to let you know what's going on tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to be uh, jonesing yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to be jonesing tomorrow because we got Tom Jones, Shirley Jones, and Joan Collins.
So pretty much all the Joneses. Yeah. So join us tomorrow and uh, and stick around for later on for the rest of the show. I'm Leslie Epson. I'm Crystal Carson. And stick around for breakfast on Melrose. <laughs> Do we actually get breakfast or is I it don't just know. coffee? It smells good. Oh. Cut and out. That was the best. Oh, all the day and night time. Hear me sigh. did you think you were going to accomplish by coming here? Breakfast? No, I mean, you're going to have to decide what it is you're angry about. Either it's because you haven't seen me in ages, or it's because you're seeing me now. It can't be both. It's not logical. <sighs> Wish I had a stopwatch so I could just time how long it takes you to get to that why did Daddy like Julia best conversation? You know, could you just start it without me so I could finish my eggs? You, the healthy, integrated Julia Barrett, couldn't possibly have an intelligent conversation with the psychological wreck, Brenda. You have never met a grudge you didn't like, have you? Daddy's dead, so he didn't tuck you in at night. Could you please just get over it? They've got to know you're gone by now. If they see you, they are going to shoot the kill. They don't know. You don't know that! I'm going to be back in the cell before bed check in the morning. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're not going. Please. I'm afraid I'm never going to see you again. Please. Don't I'm running out of time. Damn it, time! I'm begging you, please don't go. I love you. And I'll be all right. I promise. Okay. You're hurt, huh? Hear what, Penny? This might be the wrong time to give you bad news. That wealthy-looking man in the corner... Yeah? ...is gonna sue you. For what? I'm not sure, but I think he's gonna sue you for money. <laughs> is it great to walk past the store and not worry about getting screamed at? You scared me. Not that you're scary. You're not. You're very pretty, but yeah, you're pretty scares me. And, oh! <laughs> or even like crazy. <laughs> oh, I, I'm Gwen. Hi, I'm Ellen. I just moved in. Hi, I'm Adam. Excellent. <laughs> well, okay, bye. Oh, uh, one thing. When you go past my door, could you keep it down? <laughs> <laughs> Lance, let's get started. We'll see much farther with that. Now, we need a password or secret knock. Secret knock? Yes. Yeah. Whose 46 million do you think it is anyway? I know it's mine. Then do something about it. I think I'll uh, leave you two lovebirds alone to continue this in private. You really want to do Harry a favor? Turn that lottery hag upside down and shake her till the money falls out of her pockets. Why can't you ever do anything for yourself, Harry? I mean, why you always got to be so helpless? Crystal. What? 
I just want you to know that my lotto ticket is yours. I'll even put it in writing. Really? Oh, Harry. You're the sweetest thing. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I am an actor. Without a script, I'm lost. Continue to do whatever it is you're supposed to do, all right? And you promise to look for Raymond? I wouldn't miss it for anything in the world. Thanks. Gotta go. That's all. 